Hi, this is Patty from wigsbypattyspearls.com. Today I want to give you a tutorial, and it's how to defrizz your synthetic wig. It's probably the only really drawback from synthetic wigs, in, the, in that, that a burst of heat or friction from the wig sliding onto your back against your clothes will cause the frizzing of the fibers. I want to show you how you can defrizz this wig at home and what products to buy. It's easy as heck. Well, I don't know how heck it's easy, but anyway. I've got an old Sabrina that has been frizzed. I've washed it, and now, believe it or not, I'm going to make this wig look like new for a client. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to notice how really detangled, tangled up it is down here in the back. So what I do, I know you don't have a canvas head. I, I know you don't have this tripod. But what you can do is put your styrofoam head on the top of a broom and it'll hold. Go to our website and we're going to have a plastic clamp that you can clamp onto the edge of your counter or whatever and then put the styrofoam head on and you can actually style your own. You can't do this on your head, babe, because you're going to burn yourself. Anyway, I go to the inside back of the wig. That's where it's most of the mess. And I put it outside, inside on the out, and I'm going to take my little pins, my T-pins. We also have these on the website. And I'm going to pin it across. Now, can you, can you come in on that closer V so they can really see how tangled that is? The first thing that you're going to do, I've told you about this fabulous heat defiant smoother and detangler. It's also good for synthetic wigs and synthetic fiber, not just heat defiant. So the first thing I'm going to do is spritz it. Then I'm going to take a wide tooth comb and comb down. Now remember, I've already washed it. And now we're going to defrizz it and make it like new for her. Excuse me, camera. I want you to be able to see it. See how I'm kind of just working my way through? I'm telling you, that detangler makes it just work like silk. All right, so it goes through. Now, here's what you can do. I've got the steamer going, so that's the bubbling that you can hear. See the steam coming out? This is called My Little Steamer. I bought this on QVC for about $35, and it's by that Joy Mangiano. And what it has, it's got the water in here, and it's got the steam. The steam is coming out very good. I mean, it's a nice, heavy flow. But it's not so heavy as to knock your wig off your head and everything else. But it gives it a good flow. Now, here is the secret. You take a smaller comb. This is a little rat tail comb. I'm going to have to go around like this, V. Excuse me. And now I've got it. Can we, are you getting a close up, V? Now I've got the comb, the hair combed down. Now I'm going to take the steamer and walk it down the hair. But while I'm walking the steamer down, I'm going to put the comb there, and it's going to glide right along with the steamer like this. And if it gets stuck, you just keep doing it. And you just keep doing it. The steam wets the fiber and gives it enough heat that you can comb those little frizzes right out. And it's soft as silk. This is especially good for you ladies who wear the synthetics all the time. And it seems like every couple of weeks, you know, if you had me, you could bring it by to me and I take the, I take the little steamer and take these out in five minutes. But if you're in Ohio, you don't have me. And I don't think anybody ever really has shown you how easy it is to get out these frizzes. So you go like that and I'm going all the way around the back. Because this seems to be the place that it, it frizzes the most because it rubs against your collar. Then I'm going over to this side. Steamer, comb going right along with it. 
Now I'm going to make a mess just so you'll see. See how I take the comb and it's right behind the steamer. The steamer is heating up the fiber with just enough heat that your little comb can then go through and make it smooth again. Now I have even a smaller comb here, as you can see. And this, especially for the ends, see how I'm combing it and I'm laying against the head there. Now I tell you true, darling, that's out. Just going to do it a few times so you can watch me and catch your own tricks. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll hold the comb and as you're combing down like this, you can also turn the comb and see how the top of the comb here is also flattening out. Now let's just say we made a mistake like that or the comb got stuck and it makes a, a, a bend in it. Can you see that? All you have to do is go back through it again and take it down. Now this wig was really, really, really bad. So I had to do it quite a lot to make that as soft as possible. Now what are you going to do? Now you've got, you, you need to curl it. So what you can do, now that it's wet, what you can do is take one of your soft rollers and just roll it up and leave it to dry. Or you can take a heated roller, and I'm going to show you about this later. The heated roller on 175 or synthetic fiber, they have them now, and you can curl it like that, and it will curl. See how smooth it is now? Now what you're going to do, you've got the back, which was the worst of all. Now I'm going to take my pins out. And I'm going to turn the wig right side out, and I'm going to put it on the head with the stick pins. What did I do with those pins? Oh, there they are. With the stick pins. Remember when you put it on your styro head and you're working on it? Act like you're just putting it on a head. I want the T tabs right here, the ear tabs, to be straight. They go through straight. This to be up so that when you do comb it, it's nice and even and you're not getting a skewered look at it. So you're going to pin one ear tab. You're going to pin the next ear tab. And then sometimes I'll just stick one right on the top. Now I'm going to show you the back again. Remember how we've done all that steaming? Now the top needs the same thing. I'm sorry to walk in front of the camera, guys. See how it's all frizzed? Take it right out again. Now this is probably as bad as you'll ever see, and as bad as you'll get it. And the problem is now you've got a straight wig that you need to recurl. And that's when you just take your regular foam rollers and take this, I find using even a piece of the tissue paper, you know, that you get from the beauty supply. Wrap that up in the roller, roll it up, and let it dry. And when it dries, you'll have the curl back. But what a great idea to just do the ends when they get so frizzed. And you can save your wig for a lot longer and keep it looking soft and beautiful. Have a great day.